Alright, hi guys. Today we're going to be um, doing something called how to boot XP and Vista together. So first thing you want to do is have um, XP installed first. So uh, make sure you either, either have SP2 or SP3. Then let's get started. First, um, put in your um, Vista disk. Doesn't matter what version. Then after it has come up, or if it doesn't come up automatically, go to my computer and just double click on it. You're going to go to check compatibility online. Now you're going to go to download Windows Vista upgrade. Link over there. Now you're going to download it. It's a 6.6 .6 megabyte file. Put it somewhere very simple like the desktop. Close the browser. So your download's complete, you're going to want to run it. You're going to press run again. Now you're going to go through the steps, installing the upgrade advisor, create desktop shortcut, and it should be done in about a minute or so. If not, 30 seconds, I guess. Now you're going to keep that checked and close it. And the Vista upgrade advisor should automatically pop up. So here you go. So you're going to go to start scan. And it's going to check all your, uh, maybe, which one's right for you. And uh, so right now I'm going to be installing Home Premium. And it's scanning my system for my best usage and what I should get. I check the CPU, graphics card, RAM, memory, all those stuff. So, uh, yep, I'm going to let it scan for you guys. After the check, you should get to somewhere like this where it says see details. So you're going to go in. You're going to see what's wrong and what's not. So keep looking at the page. So now you go to see details over here. Now you're going to see what's right and what's wrong. You got video card alright, my DVD drive alright, system memory alright, and CPU alright. Let's get installing. Install now. Remember you do have to make a partition on your hard drive. So if you have a 500 gig, you're going to make it 250, 250 each. So I'm not showing that part because I don't have my time to do that right now. So you gotta have two drives, one with XP and the other one just has nothing in it. Make sure you, if there is something in the second hard drive, you take a backup of it. So that's gonna be a please wait, so I'll come back to you guys when it's done. Alright, so after you get your uh, please wait, you'll come to a page like this. You're gonna go to the first option where it's go online to get the latest update recommended. So now it's searching for installation updates. It will download one if it finds one. So setup was not unable to download anything at this time, so there was no updates. So hold on, let it go through this process. So now you would want to accept the license. You are next. You're gonna go to. Uh, install a clean copy of Windows so and now you're gonna pick on the drive you want so this has XP this has nothing so I'm gonna go to this click on next okay and it's gonna be installing so this part does take about an hour or so so I'm just gonna come back after the installation is done okay guys after the whole installation process is finished your computer will reboot and it will ask you to boot into uh, either an earlier version of Windows which is your Windows XP or uh, go into Windows Vista so when you boot up Windows Vista it will come up as whatever version you got so United States, I'm going to change that to where I live I live in Canada US English Canada and US keyboard layout next <coughs> I'm going to type in a username. I'm not going to type in a password. I'm just going to put a 
icon and I'm going to name my computer name Sakit PC. I'm going to choose a background and I'm going to use recommended settings. And I'm going to choose Eastern Time US and Canada, which is minus five where I live in Ontario, Toronto. So right now it's 1008. And then I'm going to press next. And my home network system is home. So then it'll just big, big sign with thank you on it, and you're going to click on start. And then your computer should load up for the first time in Vista. And you have to give it some time. So I'll come back to you when the desktop's ready. So it's going to do all this performance checking and stuff, so yeah. I'll get back to you when it's ready. Bye. So after your um, computer is done installing and everything, you'll come back to this after the performance checking I was telling you about. So you either go to your XP or Microsoft Windows Vista. So I'm going to boot up Vista. Alright, so Vista loaded up and that's what you get. So you're going to have to fix up the screen resolutions using um, your drivers, uh, video drivers. You're going to have to fix everything up. So right now in my performance, let's go check out properties. Alright. Rating. So right now you got a rating of 1.0 because nothing is installed. So um, I'm just gonna, you're just gonna have to install it all on your own. So yeah. So this is Windows Vista, guys, and thanks for watching. Bye.